Hi guys and welcome to The Division 2. In this video we're going to look at the first boss you will face. When you access the, uh, the theatre, you're tasked with heading here on a hostage rescue mission. So we've just teamed up with an agent there, we're on the rooftop, we fought our way all the way up and we're just lining up a shot now. I'm really wishing she had gone the other direction so we're not a single target. We're going to start taking out these ads. There's not too many of them before the boss makes his appearance, and I'm not sure if it's because we're in the demo or not, but I'm going through these guys no problem whatsoever, and I, I don't exactly have any advanced weaponry of any kind, just whatever the game has given me up to this point. There are a few enemies with overshields, or what appear to be overshields or whatnot, but we take them out nice and easily as well. Now, the AI-controlled agent that is assisting me in this battle is uh, using a drone and that drone seems phenomenal i i select it as one of my uh, specials you know the uh the seeker mine but i'm i'm kind of wishing i'd selected a drone the drone is really really good at getting out there and keeping the ads busy and keeping their attention and not just the ads but also the boss now the boss you'll you'll see him in a second his name is saint and um quite a big looking guy he's very well armored but quite easy to take down. So I found this was a very, very nice introductory mission. Uh, there he is there on the left now. i will just kind of pan over to him in a second. The ads are my concerns right now. So you see the yellow health bar on him there. Uh, no matter how much damage you put into him, it doesn't seem like the health bar is going anywhere. But in fact, it is. Well, it is and it isn't. What you need to do is you need to shoot... Um, his, his ammunition belt, his backsack, all of that area. You'll see these, like, as you make contact with the bullet, as you'll see in just a moment, you see these, um, these yellow kind of hits. I'll show you what I mean now. I can't find the words to describe it. That wasn't a hit, as I wanted. The drone is keeping him busy, as is the agent, which is making life beautiful for me. I'm, sh I'm not sure what to expect when I first took him on, so I tried to keep my distance as much as possible. But in retrospect and going back, I probably would be much closer. So there he's there. So it's going to start firing away there now at his back sack. I think it says ammo belt. There you go. He's starting to see the, the repercussions of these shots. And what we're doing is we're actually... There it is. That was the first yellow kind of... I don't know, pop off when, when the bullet hits that um, demonstrates that you have hit the crit area, or at least his armor area. There it is again. And you just want to get a lot of those shots in. I'm getting a few in there now. And what that's going to do is it's just going to break his armor. Once his armor is broken, he's done. This battle is over. So, essentially, all I've had to do is keep my distance. Again, something I actually regret. Um, when, I'm, when I play through this again, I intend to get up close and personal. Because it was... I felt it was a little too easy, but at the same time, I don't mind that as a, a cool introduction to the boss. There he goes. So his ammo belt is blowing him to crap. His armor is off, and he's down. So because he's down, three and a half minutes into this video, about two and a half minutes of actually fighting him, and most of that I've been taking out ads. And that's pretty much what we need to do then to clean up the rest of this mission. Just take out the ads. That's the, the mission up there now, Eliminate Saints Henchmen. And again, they're all level 1s and 2s, so it's not exactly a difficult thing. You'll get some loot. I got knee pads and some armor. I'm going to look very, very snazzy when I put those on, no doubt. Uh, but yeah, as I said, very, very enjoyable encounter to the first boss, especially if it's someone who's not been on the Division 1, who's not, who's, I guess it's their first time to the series. Um, this would be a very, very good introductory boss for them as well and as I said totally totally enjoyable mission and a very enjoyable boss maybe because he was so easy to take down I just really really liked the um, the fact of how busy the drone actually kept him and kept the ads and just kept their focus away from us I've just resupplied there now and to finish off the mission all we have to do is we need to head towards the mission marker which is going to take us down an elevator down to what, I, what is the bottom floor, fight our way through some more ads, and we're done. But first we have to grab our hostage. So there's our hostage. We were sent here to retrieve her from the theater. So the theater is one of the, what is no doubt, many, many settlements in the game. And at the theater, the, the game mechanics are explained. But 
The more missions you do for uh, a settlement, the more the settlement ranks up, the more you can take their specialists back to the White House, which is your base of operations. And, well, pretty much awesome, no? There's a whole host of things. If you check out the original video, which is up in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Now, that was my, my one-hour playthrough of the first mission, the entire mission, including this boss segment. So if you want to give that a look to get a proper feel for what the theater is like, what it looks like, where it is, and um, the whole mission in general. But as I said, very, very enjoyable. So now we head down to the lobby. These elevators, you don't actually have to push a button. They just seem to know where you want to go, and they take you there. you got to love that. So we get out here. I'm just going to have a quick roam around. There is a few things it seems I missed the first time around. And we have a marker on the door. Now, what we have to do with that door to, to finish up the whole thing is to destroy it. It's, uh, it's barricaded, and to destroy it, we just need to shoot it. Got on this um, turret here real quick, although I am being flanked, and I can't turn the turret far enough around to address that, but I want it to stay on it as long as possible. It's fun. Turrets are fun. I've always found, anyway. Now, no one's presenting a target, and there we go. Now, that's that problem solved. To work my way around, the, the, <clears throat> the battle controls in this the controls in general, I find them very, very, very smooth. They're, like, if you've played The Division 1, then this is... You're, you're going to be so much at home. And if you have not, this is a very, very easy control style to um, to get used to. And it is, just, it is just beautiful to play. It's just beautiful how it works, and it works well. Now, I'm, I'm quite surprised by that. I thought maybe... I don't know, maybe... <laughs> maybe recent demos and betas and whatnot have gotten me a little... A little down when it comes to games, and now I, I second guess and I don't expect much from a demo or a beta. But so far in the beta, everything works, and it just works well. And I quite like that, so I've been kind of blown away from it up to this point. But nonetheless, back to what we're doing. This door has a severe health bar. I probably put more ammo into the boss than I did this door. It's nearly gone there now. Come on, probably take... No, I thought it'd take another clip. And there we go. We're done. Just take out these... For me, at least, two more ads came in. Three, apologies. Three more ads came in. And then we were done. Mission complete and everything is A-OK. -okay. Hopefully you found this video some bit useful or entertaining. If you liked the video, please do hit that like button and like the video. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.